550 million years ago, a chain of volcanic islands broke away from its supercontinent and drifted north. A few hundred million years later, those islands would crash into the east coast of what we now call Massachusetts. As recently as 25,000 years ago, the region was buried under 4,000 feet of ice. But as that ice receded, it revealed a glacial till of sand, gravel, clay, and a landscape ripe for life. Native Americans would first settle the land some 12,000 years ago. Although we know little of this time, changing sea levels has erased much of its history. At the time, sea level was 164 feet lower, making Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket part of the mainland. The Boston Bay Area was plentiful with shellfish, especially oysters that thrive in the warm, shallow waters. And the Boston Harbor Islands, with their slightly warmer climate, were ideal for farming crops. In the 1500s, Europeans seeking the Northwest Passage, the fabled sea route leading to the riches of China and the Far East, would instead stumble upon a new world and in doing so, would also set out to colonize it. After 10 months at sea, the Mayflower would deliver the pilgrims to Plymouth Rock, founding the town of Plymouth in December 1620. Many settlements soon popped up, one of them Charlestown, but due to the brackish water, a handful of settlers would relocate to the nearby Shawmut Peninsula. And it's here that our story begins. In this series, I'm going to be rebuilding Boston in city skylines. It will be something new, but also something born from its own history. It's a build inspired by its own mistakes. And some of those mistakes will be repeated because it wouldn't be Boston otherwise. This is a bit of a departure for me, so please stay tuned for episodes when they're ready. I hope you enjoy this new version of Boston that will be built up as we learn about its past. Welcome to New Boston.